first you have to import your background into the CapCut as you can see over here if you want to learn how to make this background just tell me in the comments I will make a video for this then you have to add the audio uh, the part where you have to add these type of clones and after that what you have to do you have to add your overlay uh, like over here I'm using a green screen animation but if you are using uh, any image that will be good for you but now I will remove the green screen by selecting the chrome key and intensity and shadow uh, like setting the duration of that now you can see that there, there is a black line so for removing that I will use some mask so I will use horizontal mask and I will adjust it like this so we can uh, remove the black line that was coming into our animation after then I will adjust it like this I want this to be in the center part and after adjusting it I will make a copy of it then drag it downside like this and after dragging it downside check your like duration of the animation or image and adjust that after adjusting that what you have to do uh, you have to click on the above overlay so this one okay uh, add a keyframe at the starting and add a keyframe at the ending and also after this uh, what you have to do you have to add a keyframe at the center the reason behind adding this keyframe is that the like the moment should come back to its original position okay after that we have left two beats which are in the center so come to this beat and over here add a keyframe and then drag your character like this on this side and shrink it down a little bit like five six points seven points according to you then adjust it like this so it will give you this moment the coming in and coming out then go to the next beat that we have left and over this we move it to the opposite direction and shrink the scale and adjust it like this okay now you can see that we are getting our moment but if you think you need to do some changes in the moment you can also change this then we have to add the graph so over here we'll go into the graph and we will add is out graph over here in between of each keyframes but if you want to like make custom graph you can also make that to make it a little bit more faster or smoother but uh, i will prefer that you should use the same is out uh, it gives a good like moment and good what we can say smoothness to the moment of your video after that uh, you have to click on the main green screen animation or your picture you can also adjust the color of that so we can it can be a little bit brighter than the back clone then you have to go to video effects and over here what you have to do you have to search an effect which is colorful okay search it and now add this effect like this as you can see then what you have to do uh, you have to set the object to the overlay that we want and set the speed to 100 so the color should be changing very fastly then uh, after this check it out if there's any kind of mistake you can change it then again we have to add another effect which will be the jitter blur effect okay add this effect and after adding this effect uh, you can like uh, uh, set the object to the overlay make sure you add set that over there then set the filter blur everything to zero but the range will be 40 or 50 depending on you now this is a pro effect so CapCut pro is available on my discord join my discord you can get the CapCut pro over there CapCut pro link then uh, what you have to do you have to add more effect which will be the retro blue effect okay after that add this effect and go to object of this set it to the overlay the clone that we have then adjust it set the sharp uh, so set the sharpness to 50 blur to 0 glow to 50 and filter to 0 filter to 0 glow to 50 okay nice it's looking pretty good but we want a little bit more glow in our clone so for that we will again go into the video effects we will search glow and we will add the edge glow effect over here as you can see and after that set the object of edge glow to the overlay that we have now you can see that the, our clone is looking pretty much good and better than it was before now uh, just check out your clone if it's good just export it like this after exporting check it out again that the clones are coming good accurately and after that what you have to do you have to import the same clip into another project and make sure you add the keyframes then uh, what you have to do you have to adjust the scale like make sure you adjust the scale first then add a keyframe at the starting and add a keyframe at the ending also add a keyframe at the center so we want our moment to come back to this position so go to the beat that we have left add a keyframe now what you have to do you have to do some rotation so for this one you have to rotate it in like 16 percentage in the minus 
and then increase the scale by your thumb so you can get this type of movement and but if you are not satisfied by the uh, like the position of character you can rearrange these things again and again according to your need then go to the next beat and over here you have to rotate it in the opposite direction like in the plus 15 or plus 16 then set the scale by your thumb like this or you can go into the basic and adjust it and after you are satisfied by the movement of your character uh, you can add graph into it but make sure that the what we can say the moment of your character or your clone or the screen is accurate after then you should move towards the graph so as you can see that my moment is correct according to me so i will go into the graph and i will add ease out graph in between of each one of the keyframes okay so after adding the graph you can see that our movement is looking pretty much good and better but now what you have to do you have to add some lightning over here so for that you have to uh, add an overlay this one overlay this is available on my discord you can join the discord and get this for free then go to the blend or splice and set it to the filter you are, so you can see that we are getting that light from the top right corner after that you can also some uh, particle effects which are also available in the overlay format you can get these overlays from my discord in the material form uh, material channel they are available over there you can choose multiple other overlays for your edit so after adding this we have to go into the blend and in the blend set it to filter make sure you set filter to all of them so we can get the color effect properly or the particle effect properly then you have to adjust them now uh, it depends on you if you want smaller particle you can just let it be over there but if you want a little bit larger you can scale it up and you can also increase the speed of these overlay according to the what we can say the moment of your video or the moment of your clone whatever that you have then after adjusting it uh, make sure uh, to check it out one or two times if they are like good adjust the duration and set it okay but uh, if you think that you need more particles you can add more of these type of overlays in it now it doesn't like stop uh, like then you have to add one more effect which will be the wide angle effect so after adding this effect you can see that our video will be looking a little bit more fascinating and better than it was before okay set the object to all videos then check it out one or two times three times like if you are not satisfied by the intensity of this you can change it again and again and if you are okay you can just export your video and add it to the main edits and i hope you all guys have learned a new type of clones in this video and thank you so much for watching till then we'll meet in the next video and peace out